Now, what about these standards? In chapter 1, we had the census. They had to know who they were, but they must also know where they belong. That is, you must first of all know you are a child of God, and then you must know where you belong. As a child, you must know. You must know your pedigree to know that your place in the camp. You couldn't go to war unless you did. Now, we'll see that in chapter 2, but these standards. Now, these were banners that were put up over them, and just what were on those banners. Let me read you a statement that comes from two great scholars, Kyle and Dalich, in their commentary on the Pentateuch, make this statement. And I'm quoting them now. Neither the Mosaic law nor the Old Testament generally gives us any intimation as to the form or character of the standard, the Degel. According to rabbinical tradition, the standard of Judah bore the figure of a lion, that of Reuben the likeness of a man or of a man's head, that of Ephraim the figure of the ox, and that of Dan the figure of an eagle, so that the four living creatures united in the cherubic forms described by Ezekiel were represented upon these four standards. I don't want you to make too much of that because there are those today that even go so far as to find in their arrangement about the camp the way the stars are arranged in heaven, the signs of the zodiac, if you please. And a great deal has been made of that. In fact, the matter is there are those that find the gospels written in the stars and that their future may be written in the stars. I always think of what Shakespeare had Brutus say, it's not in our stars but in ourselves that we are underlings. I think it was Mark Antony said that to Brutus, by the way. Doesn't make any difference who said it. It's a good statement. Our problem is with ourselves, not up yonder with the stars at all. And you'd not know this, and we can't be sure that this is accurate, actually. I think tradition, reasonably so, but don't try to make too much of it. After all, you don't find the gospel in the stars. You find it in the Word of God. It's not necessary to have that. And without the Word of God, you'd never suspect it was up there. There are those that say that, well, they were without excuse. How were they without excuse? That they had the gospel preached to them? They did not. His eternal power and Godhead is revealed in this creation. But they don't tell you anything, friends, other than that. They don't tell you about that. So let's not make too much of this in these days in which we're living.